when you say that people have to be required to vote, that's saying something because not everyone has time to vote. You also said you need 85% majority to vote, but where's the proof of that? It's just an opinion. When people say that requiring all citizens to vote leads to a more accurate representation to a population, that's not very true because the goal of democracy should not be to have everyone vote, but to have everyone care about the outcome and take their vote seriously. Since the affirmative cannot guarantee that requiring everyone to vote, they will also have to take their vote seriously and we won't benefit from everyone voting. And requiring everyone to vote means that they have to vote in every single election, not just the major ones. And not, this is not realistic because not everyone has time to research all the candidates or wants to do this research. This requirement places a burden on our citizens that is unfair and unrealistic. The, par the purpose of a democracy is to protect our freedoms, and one of those freedoms is deciding if I want to vote or not. This freedom is part of our freedom of speech and expression. Requiring everyone to vote doesn't guarantee that everyone will vote for someone who will protect their rights. And we also shouldn't have to earn our rights protection through voting. The government guarantees that all we all have this protection. But, and what about all the citizens in our society that are sick or in nursing homes or hospitalized? What if they cannot fulfill their requirement to vote? Should the government take away their rights? Thank you. All right, teams, uh, audience, we will continue now with the debate. The next part of the debate are rebuttals from each team. Each team will have two minutes to rebut the, op the opposing team's arguments. We will have the affirmative first. And when um, Trinity Valley starts, the, time the timekeeper will start. Thank you. 